everyone have dice, extra paper, pencils, their character sheets? All right, let's begin. Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. Let's roll for initiative. You could be You know you could. This season, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons by Wizards of the Coast. Our players this season are Isaiah Schowitz, Jessica Gibson, Laura Spires. I'm Will Scarborough. I am the DM. And this is Opposing Roles. You could be larger than life. This is Opposing Roles, Season 2, Episode 0. Opposing Roles is an almost actual play podcast featuring people from all over the local Columbus, Ohio theater and improv scene, with every season featuring a different RPG game system, sometimes reoccurring, other times brand new. Being that Opposing Roles is meant for new and seasoned RPG fans alike, especially if you're a seasoned player with a rough idea of what and how tabletop RPGs are played, We won't feel bad if you skip ahead a bit to the parts you prefer to jump to outlined in the show notes of this episode, like who are the players, what are their characters, etc. For you new or not as experienced players, first let's get into some basics and look into the definition of RPG. RPG stands for role playing game. In particular, at least as of right now, we are playing tabletop role playing games, or as they're also known, pen and paper role playing games. In role-playing games, the player play as characters. Sometimes they are templated characters pre-created before the game. Other times, and most of the time, at least with opposing roles, they are created by the players. The players themselves determine the actions of their characters based upon their characterization, utilizing a set system of rules and guidelines. Within the rules, the players have the freedom to improvise with their choices shaping the direction and the outcome of the game. The Dungeon Master, a.k.a. the DM, is another component who tries to assist the players in telling the story and acts as all non-playing characters, also known as NPCs. The DM is also aware of all the obstacles that the players will encounter during their game. Some of them are planned by the DM, others are, well, not planned. But all these obstacles are things that will be done via encounters. Some can be handled with role-playing or acting out or improvising. The rest is done by a series of checks and balances located in the rules of the game. Most RPGs, at least the ones we will play here on Opposing Roles, will feature a wide array of dice to help perform those checks and balances, usually. What's unique about tabletop RPGs is that players are integral to the game and can change the shape of how the entire game plays. Imagine for me three players, each bouncing ideas and thoughts and playing off of each other. As Game Master or Dungeon Master, it is his or her job to act as a referee host and lead storyteller, helping the players along. Meaning, a scenario or adventure could be played multiple times, multiple ways, because how each player approaches the adventure could modify and reshape how the entire game plays out. Also, you could have someone who just always rolls the dice poorly, making it an uphill battle for the player. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, but in the context of this show, what does almost actual play RPG mean? An almost actual play RPG podcast, at least in context of opposing roles, means we will be recording a game session or actual game session of an RPG, and then provide some slight edits here and there, mostly filling in goofs for the game master made and or would like to redo, or perhaps in some cases cut out to better illustrate what's going on. And heck, who knows, maybe add some effects? Let's be honest, we tried that in the Star Wars season and it was kind of hectic and time consuming to do so, so probably not that last part. Pew, pew. Each RPG game system runs on a system of rules. Some systems, like Star Wars by Weston Games, which we did last season, uses six-sided dice. But the biggest ones out there, as example, are D20 systems. That stands for 20-sided dice. 
Dungeons and Dragons utilizes this as a primary dice roll, but also uses other dice as well. It is also important to throw out there that something you may hear come up in the podcast, and that is terms like adventure, scenario, or campaign. In role-playing games, campaigns are long-running where player characters play continuously and have some long, overarching roles. Adventures or scenarios are also called one-offs or one-shots, which leads to a reminder about the format of the podcast. Opposing Roles will be an audio podcast show that will be run similar to that of a television show, meaning it's done via seasons. To be clear, we aren't doing the Netflix method either. We are doing one episode at a time per release. This is what is also unique about the show Opposing Roles, is that each season could be a completely different game. The RPG games themselves that we will play in the show may vary from season to season, and the RPG games themselves that we play in the show may vary from season to season and could be a different experience, not just for those in the show, but for those listening as well. For example, last season featured myself as the Game Master with Eric Sternberger, Stephen Woosley, and Samantha Stark as the players in Star Wars, the role-playing game by West End Games, republished by Fantasy Flight. This season, though is a completely different game system, like Dungeons & Dragons, with a different game master and a different set of players altogether. Well, for the most part. If you were a fan of Star Wars, don't worry. Eric, Woos, and Sam, I am confirming right here, will be back in a later season, probably season four. we got a really cool season three coming up for you as well. But being that there is a time lapse, it's very important to stress that if you enjoy what we do here on Opposing Roles, Please subscribe to our show in whatever podcatching app you use, whether it be the podcast app on iOS, aka the Apple operating system, or whatever app you use on your Android. Okay, so we went over the ins and outs of what an RPG is, and what an actual play podcast is, or in our case, an almost actual play podcast. Now to tell you more about this season of Opposing Roles, and what game we're playing. We're playing 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. To get us started, talk about the game some more, and just prepare you for what you're going to hear rule-wise, here is the Dungeon Master for this season, William Scarborough. Hi everyone, I'm Will Scarborough. I'm a Columbus area actor, writer, and DM. I've been uh, playing D&D for several years now. Uh, before that, primarily played uh, video games and have drowned in fantasy literature like uh, Tolkien, Peter B. Brett, George R. R. Martin, and the like. So a little bit I can tell you about this podcast, uh, this this campaign, if you will. It's uh, going to be set in an original homebrewed world uh, called Orocos. Without going too much into detail, uh, it's a world built kind of on an inherent underlying chaos. It's it's consistently on the brink of instability, and so it's very uncommon for people to leave their hometowns and cities just for fear of the unknown that lies beyond. Uh, however, our intrepid group of adventurers uh, elect to venture beyond that and find out the world's kind of a train wreck. I'll probably have made a few mistakes uh, that you'll notice in your listening, and I'm sure the players did too, but there's lots of twists and turns, plenty of fun times to, to enjoy, uh, and uh, an ending I hope you guys don't necessarily see coming. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it. Maybe you'll hear me again after this season. We'll see. Thanks, Will. All right. Well, I also wanted to give you all a disclosure about the audio quality. There was a section of this season that was recorded before the pandemic. So you may hear some difference in recording quality in the microphones as we move to condenser mics here in the studio. And I use the term studio loosely. (laughs) To using our laptops over Zoom. Please keep that in mind. Speaking of the pandemic, we want to thank you for taking the time to listen to our show, and we hope that you are staying safe and keeping sane during this weird time. And if for whatever reason you feel sad or depressed, please reach out and talk to somebody and know that you are not alone and that we care about you and hopefully our show will bring a little bit of semblance of joy that will help get you through it. And if not, please reach out to someone who can help you. With that said, uh, also a big shout out to our backers from Kickstarter, who, for some of you who submitted a name of an NPC character, stay tuned. The final arc of the D&D season will feature 99% of the names, with one name being carried over into another season. We don't want to say which one that was yet, because it was literally 
pick of the, it was literally just pick as you go. It's going to be awesome. Before we end episode zero, since you've already met our DM, William Scarborough, let's introduce our players and their characters. I'm Jessica Gibson, and I'm playing a character named Vin Diesel, named after that Vin Diesel. Uh, but in my case, Vin Diesel is female. Vin Diesel is part juggernaut, part warforged, and is a barbarian. I used to be a soldier, but I'm not anymore, and was kind of wandering around on my own before joining up with this group and adventuring. My likes include bears, succubi, and violence. And my dislikes include people who uh, are very resistant to questioning and investigating people. So, can't wait to meet you. Hello, my name is Isaiah Shelwitz, and I'm playing a tiefling oath of devotion paladin named Tenacity. Tenacity is the exiled son of the noble house of Mambo Number 6, Mambo for short. He is the son of Lord Tim Tim, the head of the house of Mambo, and his demon mistress, Hope. When Tenacity was 13, his tiefling features started to mature, and after setting fire to the rug room, Tim Tim was so embarrassed by having a demon child, he threw both Tenacity and Hope out to survive on their own. For years, Tenacity lived off being a male gigolo. He has a charisma of 19, no big deal. But at age 21, he had a revelation. During one of his orgies, he overheard one of the local lords planning on sacrificing peasants to appease a vampire because the lord had not held up his end of a bargain. Outraged, Tenacity, in a simple loincloth, reported this to the local sheriff, who then tried to have Tenacity arrested because the sheriff had for years been taking bribes from the corrupt lord. But Tenacity escaped and led a peasant revolt which overthrew the sheriff and lord. Tenacity even negotiated with the vampire to not harass the peasants anymore, as long as Tenacity agreed to always sleep with the vampire when she called. Again, charisma of 19, no big deal. Since that day, Tenacity found his calling as a paladin to travel the world and protect the common people. Nicknamed by those he works closely with as Ludo, Ludo is a male half-elf circle of the Moon Druid. Ludo has a criminal past, but it wasn't always this way. Past the Etrogala Kingdom, near the green waters of Dolok Bay, is a community of druids. Originally known by birth as the half-elf druid Seraph Raven, Seraph took comfort in his community. Until a horrific crime occurred, and in the process some close to Seraph perished. Blamed now for a crime he didn't commit, Seraph was on the run, but soon... Days turned to weeks, which turned to months, and months turned to years. During this time, Seraph was on the run. Feeling he had a part to play in the events that transpired, Seraph began to be very much a loner. Needing to feed and clothe himself, though, Seraph turned into a life of crime, but eventually picking up the nickname Ludo. Now going by Ludo, Ludo Sue fell into a relationship with one of his criminal contacts, Magnus. Warming up more to the idea of comrades in the process, Ludo soon began taking jobs with crews, most which included Magnus. When his relationship with Magnus soured, Ludo was cr- I mean, Ludo wasn't heartbroken. Pfft, no. Instead, Ludo buried himself into more work by taking even more odd jobs here and there, making his way for being brash, cocky, handsome, and having a mouth on him. Quick to forget a plan, ignore the plan, or commit too much to the plan, Ludo is never one to be told the odds. I'm Laura Spires, and I'm playing a character named Magmus Scorches. Magmus is a fire genasi artificer. I like to build things, cut things open, and target practice with my crossbow. My temper's fiery, just like my hair. I don't have patience for indecision, stupidity, or my ex Ludo, who's both of those things. I'm only here until I have enough wealth amassed that I can force people, and by people, I mean everyone, to leave me in peace. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Season 2 as it begins proper. See you then. Opposing Roles is presented by D4K Studios and is produced in conjunction with Nick Argenbright and William Dell and co-produced by Ashley Carlson and Catherine Renawa with editing this season provided by Kat Warren and William Dell with additional mixing provided by Reality Sounds. Find out what Reality can do for you. Check out the show notes or head to facebook.com forward slash Reality Sounds. Our game system for this season is Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition by Wizards of the Coast. Our cast is William Scarborough as the Dungeon Master with 
Laura Spires as Magnus Scordis, Isaiah Shawwitz as Tenacity, Jessica Gibson as Vin Diesel, and Nick Argenbright as Seraph Raven Ludo. Our second season has also been made possible by our Kickstarter backers, such as Ashley Carson, Catherine Ranella, Wooz, Yannick, Doug Poeta, Christopher LeBlanc, Andrew, Kenny, Jerome Wetzel, Casey May, Anonymous, Tavia Ordway, Anthony Portillo, Jen and Brian Petrie, Guest 16554255418, Laura Spires, Kimberly Barr, Kyle Jepson. Music for the show provided by Derek Shire and Pink Zebra featuring Benji Jackson. Please support our musicians by checking out the show notes for their respective links. We are, of course, on Twitter and Instagram under the username GoodBagGeeky. Follow that for updates on all the different projects that we are involved in, including opposing roles. Dungeons and & Dragons and all related titles, logos, and characters are trademark property of Wizards of the Coast, and opposing roles does not imply an affiliation, endorsement, or sponsorship by the copyright and trademark holders unless otherwise noted. Opposing Roles is a production of D4K Studios.